Hello guys, have a nice day. I always say that. I know I, I got a lot of comments why I'm always saying have a nice day at first. But I don't know, I just love the word. But anyway guys, this is Zuni Franco Sorsano of Buhay sa Dubai. And today guys, tutuguin po tayo. Again, I would like to request for uh, some tissues please. Because I have a very good friend here. She's a vlogger from Canada. She's a Filipina, proud Filipina. Pero isashare natin kung ano nga ba yung buhay niya na you know uh, uh, pinanganak sa Pilipinas lumaki sa ibang bansa okay so i think my first question will be um, how are you today i'm great <laughs> <laughs> pero guys kanina behind the scene i'm actually very scared pronouncing her name yung name niya kasi is Jaina okay. okay so you're here in dubai for how many days now i've been here for 2 weeks and then you're leaving Actually, I really wanted to have more video collaboration with her, but unfortunately, she's about to leave actually in a couple of hours. Okay, so my let's start sharing your story. Okay, so you mentioned that you were raised in the Philippines. Uh, no, you were born in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, ilang taon ka dun? Can I ask Tagalog questions? Yes, for sure. Just make it easy for me, please. Seven years old and oh, okay. moved to Canada. So, are you saying na kung lumaki ka in, in which province? City? Manila. Manila. Batangas. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you know, most of my Batangas friends are singers. Oh. And most of them are actually winning some singing contest here in UAE. Yeah, you should join sometimes. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So you're saying, uh, pinanganak sa Philippines, and then seven years old when you moved to Canada. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to, to transfer to Canada? Uh, my parents wanted to move there for opportunity. So okay. they were engineers. And then oh. they were like, oh, let's go to Canada. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, of course, well, how was it, you know, like, although you're just seven years old, is it easy for you to like, okay, finally you were transferring to Canada and you're going to gonna leave your friends. Did you issues at that age? No, no issues. I was just a kid. So I was like really happy and I adjusted very easily. Then. Because ako din kasi, uh, lumaki din ako ng ganong style. Parang palipat-lipat kami ng bahay. Mm -hmm. And the biggest problem sa akin talaga is yung, you know, you started to making friends and then suddenly parang mayroon ka ng best friend and then suddenly magta-transfer kayo. Yeah. So good thing hindi mo na experience. I've been experiencing a lot actually when I moved to the Philippines and then back to Canada. Mm. It's like I get attached and I make these friends and then parang may uh -oh. unfinished business. Like, uh -oh, nga, exactly. ah, I want to be there. Um, but now, yeah, we're here in Dubai. Um, but you're not staying here for good, right? Okay, if I'm gonna ask you now, where is your residence? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere and nowhere. Pero ano yung buhay sa Canada? I mean, for of course, uh, for a Filipino living there, how was it? Can you describe it to our viewers? It's relaxing, actually. It it's, is. For me, for me at least. Canada, because I think I have relatives in uh, British Columbia. And, yeah. But how was it? Uh, you know, being a Filipino, na nakatira ka sa iba sa, sa Canada. Uh, like, is how big is the Filipino community in your place? Do you eat Filipino food? Do you speak Tagalog there? No? Can we pause for a little bit? Sorry, I'm like really shy. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you can okay, count. okay, okay. Um, no, I actually grew up around white people. <laughs> ah, so wala masyadong Filipino dun sa place niyo? Uh, there's a lot, but the school that I went to, it's full of like, um, really Canadian people. So, so let's say sa, sa school niyo, walang Filipino classmate? Like one. And you are best friends or not? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so really, I was the only Filipina there. And okay. then all my... I went to a Christian school and all my friends were really Canadian. Mm -hmm. So I'm a kid. So I was like, okay, this is this is my classmate. This is like these is people, right? Uh -oh. So I thought, this is just what it is. So growing up, I grew up around Canadians, actually. Oh, okay. I was not really exposed to a lot of Filipinos from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, okay, but inside the house, uh, lumaki ka ba sa isang kulturang Pilipino or Canadianized na talaga? Super Canadian! So, I mean, you're not cooking adobo? Oh yeah, my, my dad is always cooking. Your dad cooking. is a Filipino? Yes. Why your last name is Kali? Kalingasan. Ah, Kalingasan. <laughs> I shortened it kasi... Oo, oh, akala ko kasi alak. Akala ko lasing ko yung familia nyo. So, I'm for just here, I'm pronounce <laughs> yung Canadians. Like, 
my last name talaga is Kalingasan. Pero uh, how do you pronounce it? Is Kalingasan. 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 <laughs> okay, so from seven years old, naglipat na kayo ng Canada. So, ilang taon ka when you returned to Philippines? Um, I visited when I was ten. And then, okay. Na culture shock ako. <laughs> ah, okay. Oo, like, oh, kasi seven years old parang that. medyo ano pa eh. Mm -hmm. Yang pa masado. Parang when I came back, it's like, oh, everything shrunk. Kasi uh -oh. nali nalaki ako. So, <laughs> <laughs> I grew up so everything got smaller. It's okay. Like, like before the gate was so big and then uh -oh. I grew taller. It's like, oh, it's yeah, so of course small. it would be different na, 'di ba? Kasi yeah. ganoon talaga. Parang nung bata ka, you feel like parang ang laki ng house, ang laki ng pintuan niyo, ng table. But you, as you grow older and taller, Yun ang alilit na ng mga gamit. Yeah, that's what happened. Pero ito yung question ko. How was it yung first day mo ng ten years ago balik ka ng Pilipinas? Of course, your neighbors, your your relatives there are not speaking in English. So, marami ka bang friends on your first day? No, no. I just Wala know my family. You're not friendly. I'm very friendly. <laughs> Pero the the true story, like when everything began when I was uh -huh. 16, that's when we actually moved back to the Philippines. So, mm. um. Grade 11, I moved back to the Philippines and mm. that's when I started going to school. Okay, so pero yung buhay mo sa Canada, let's say, most of your classmates are Canadian. Have you experienced like, you know, uh, oh, sh she's an Asian or yung tipong ganon, yung minamaliit ka? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, a little Example. bit. Example? A little bit. Uh, so in math class, Okay. Like, I'm always the first one to finish. So like, oh, oh. Diba? Asian are really known for <laughs> very being a very good when it comes to mathematics. So my Canadian friends are like, oh, she's I wait Asian. Lang, wait lang, wait lang. Can I hold that? Because yeah. I'm Asian, but I'm not good in math, so maybe I'm not Asian. Filipino. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Actually, I thought because in the Philippines, I thought I'm a bad student. Because all my Fil going to school in the Philippines, I'm like, parang hindi number one. Ah, uh, okay. But when I moved to Canada, na, Canada, all of a sudden... Parang nagtatap ka. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm like, why am I so, so smart? So it means, here? guys, the education standard in the Philippines is maganda pa rin talaga it's for so, you to yeah. mag-excel ng, ng class. Actually, when I moved to Canada when I was seven, they're like, you can skip two grades. Mm. You can skip ahead. Pero how about the height? I mean, sorry ha, <laughs> but I mean, of course, if I think of Canadian kasi, medyo, hindi naman sila ganun katanggat ang Canadian. No, they're tall. They're tall. They're tall. I'm 5'2". So, Hindi ka bilang minamaliit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are? This is me. This okay. is them. <laughs> They're so, looking at all of me. So it's very hard for you to like, you know, to have a long discussion or conversation. Because <laughs> yeah. you'll be doing like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi, Jaina. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> or ito, this is just a fun time. Have you experienced one of your Canadian friends say that? Can you please stand up? And then actually you are actually standing. I'm standing. <laughs> Joke lang. Yeah, yeah that, that's happened before actually. <laughs> okay, so you stayed in Canada for how many years in total now? Eight, Eight years. Eight years. Until I was 16 and then I went back to university for two years, 10. Total of 10 years ka lang nasa ten years. Okay. So, what can you share to our viewers of uh, what are the things that you missed, let's say, yung buhay ng isang Pilipino na nasa Canada? Uh, for sure, there, there, are, there are some culture uh, in the, uh, difference, right? Uh, let's say, we do, like, we do say po for Filipinos or something ganon. I love karaoke. <laughs> and they're not singing there? No, not a lot. My, my Canadian peers, not so much. But when, okay, when so I the, went the, back... That's the evidence yeah. na papatunay na talagang you're a, a real Filipino is because you love karaoke. The thing is, so sa school, I start singing. Okay. Nobody is singing with me in Canada. Then I go back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just in Jollibee or I'm in McDonald's or KFC. I'm singing like a random song then all of a sudden everyone's joining me in the philippines what? only only in the philippines ah, okay. we break into song that's what happened to me where in canada no one's singing so parang flash mob yung style yeah parang you started singing like an insane person there and yeah. then suddenly everyone are joining you and yeah sing. i just love singing so Sayang, ano, you should capture a video I know. you're not yet a vlogger maybe that time not yet no oh galing naman. 
But yeah, the singing, the singing mm -hmm. in the Philippines. I love. Okay, but can you share, let's say, uh, to our viewers, let's say, if they're like planning to like maybe work or live in Canada, what are the reminders or tips that you would like to share to them? Maybe what are the do's and don'ts that we Filipinos might don't know? Because, diba, like here in the Middle East, Middle East, you're not allowed to wear too, too sexy clothes mm -hmm. or something like that. Or what else are bawal dito? You cannot eat during Ramadan in during daytime. Maganon. Some simple tips lang that you can share. Simple tips. Well, or nothing. Okay. It's just Actually, all a few, freedom. A few tips. A few okay. Tips. Okay. Um, okay. So my parents actually experienced this. When you first move to Canada, you feel so alone because okay. it takes time to adjust to the culture. But I just want to let people know that you're not alone. There's Filipinos. There's a yeah. big Filipino community in there. Canada. So, oh, because yeah. you know, Canada is parang lagi ko na rin siya for Filipinos. Eh. Mm -hmm. okay, so just, just reach out. Everyone there is friendly. So there's no bawal? Like dito kasi bawal ang alak. Oh, you can only drink alak eh, sa mga bars. Kasi walang mga bawal doon. No. Of course, crime is not allowed. No, no. Um, no, I, of course it is. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Crying? Driving, driving. Okay, what do you okay, mean by driving? In the Philippines, there's traffic everywhere and then there's two lanes, but it becomes four lanes. Okay. In the Philippines. So there's very strict when it comes to traffic. If there's a stop light, you have to stop okay. and let the pedestrians cross. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, Same thing here safe. in Dubai. And always wear a seatbelt. <gasps> it's punishable below. Yeah. Oh, kasi sa Pilipinas, medyo, although I'm not saying na even until now, mm -hmm. although there are some Filipinos talaga sa Pilipinas na not really following yung mga ganitong classing rules. I think you know what's, what's good thing about us na naka-experience na tumira sa ibang bansa mm -hmm. is because we are exposed to this kind of government na mahigpit but at the same time, beneficial for all the people when it comes to safety. Mm -hmm. Kasi di ba, you have to put your seatbelt if you are like riding a car or driving a car. For sure. Okay, but you know, um, I know that you're going back to Philippines now, and it's Christmas. So, what are you? What are the things that you are very excited of going home in the Philippines this time? Excited to see all my family in Batangas. It's Batangas. And Bataan. I have. Are you also going to Bataan? Yeah, I'm spending. I've never been there. I'm spending Christmas in Batangas and then New Year's in Bataan. I think. Yeah. Oh, my my dad is from Batangas. Nice. I'm so jealous now. And so both best of both <laughs> worlds. Okay, the problem is, I hope you will get used of eating Filipino delicacies kapag Christmas. Because normally Christmas, I think we cook. Because yung I don't know if sana ka pa kumain mga Filipino food. Kantila. Kantila. <laughs> but what are your fav uh, favorite Filipino food? I love pancit canton. <laughs> uh, I love the pancit canton from grocery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mas gusto ko. I don't know why, guys. But I mas gusto ko yung instant pancit canton. Me too. It's my childhood. Oh, oh kaysa sa yung totoong pancit canton na niluto sa bahay. It's just pour water and then there. <laughs> Ang galing mo, no? I mean, with your status right now and with your family, you still eat these kinds of food? Of course. Calamansi and... You eat century tuna? Yes. <laughs> salata? Corned beef? Yes, with pandesal. Oh, with those pandesal. are my favorites. So good. And kape in the morning. Oh. Pandesal. But have you tried the kaping uh, barako ng Batangas? Do you drink uh, strong coffee? No. Mm. But my, my parents. Okay, so I, now let's talk about your plan of being a vlogger. I, I know guys that she already started vlogs. <laughs> a little bit only. But unfortunately, she takes down all the videos that she has because she needs to fix it. So that's actually very good, no? So... Paano ka napunta sa decision that you're going to start vlogging? What uh, makes it more interesting for you? For me, it's because um, I move around a lot and mm. um, when I make friends, okay. I leave and people don't see me so much. And I just want to talk to people, talk to my friends and oh, nga, actually, experiences. Yung, yung nung una kitang namet, I thought mahiyain ka. You're like a shy type person, but when you started talking, hindi. <laughs> Oh, I'm just hiding mayayin, but behind the camera. <laughs> talker din siya, kaya I, I think you are really your personality is really perfect for a vlogger. <laughs> so just take advantage of you know of uh, some perks na naibibigay sa sa mga vloggers. Okay, um, so can you share, let's say, ano yung pinaka design of your YouTube channel that you're going to open? Are you going um, to restart again? Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a daily vlog. 
So oh. because I've been traveling so much, moving around, I just mm. want to share people what's happening in the world. Yeah, just, that's actually good. Yeah, just share positive, good vibes. That's all. You know, I really salute all the uh, travel vloggers mm -hmm. because because of them, we are like informed and oriented. Mm -hmm. If let's say if we're planning to visit that place, mm -hmm. so yun yung advantage talaga ng mga vloggers na katulad natin. We give them information for them to see kung ano talaga yung real life don. Kasi you know sometimes guys, if we based on let's say that yung mga Department of Tourism ng mga countries, of course they will just share yung good thing. Good things, yeah. But if you share your real experience, it will be more realistic talaga. For sure, yeah. But you are talented, so not only just I think your channel not only just a travel vlog, right? Yeah, maybe some covers. She's a singer, she's an instrumentalist. Tama ba yung English ko? Yeah. She's a comedian, she's a talker, she's beautiful, but she doesn't want to have a makeup vlog. I don't really wear that much makeup, really, just eyeliner. Ako din, eyeliner din. And then, eyeliner, kasi meron line, kaya eyeliner. Hindi, uh, <laughs> joke lang guys, I'm not, I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Kaya, ano lang, maganda lang talaga yung lightings namin. Okay, so I think my last question for you will be, um, what will be your message to all of our viewers? Let's say that, let's say they're like, uh, let's say from the Philippines and they're they're moving for good to other countries. Ano yung mga message mo sa kanila? How they're going to prepare it, living the life abroad? I um, I guess I just want maybe to say... from a, being a student until something gone on. Okay, I'll speak to them. Yeah. Again. Okay. There's gonna be ups and downs. There's always gonna be ups and downs, highs and lows. But a message I want to tell you is to stay positive mm -hmm. and be happy because you're gonna be surrounded by Filipinos and people who will support you. And yeah, so I guess that's all I just wanted to say. Just be happy. Yeah, life is too short, you know, try to live. Yeah, you only have a certain amount of time a day. Yeah, live. exactly. And if you spend like so much time worrying in this time frame you have other things to like be happy yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. correct don't take life so serious guys mm -hmm. but be serious on facing your problems okay not just you know enjoying that knowing that you have a problem but you have to be serious in facing your problem but you should not be so serious about life try to enjoy make friends say imagine now I have a friend from Canada. <laughs> so that's how I enjoy life. Okay, again, thank you so much, Jaina, for being with me here at Juni Sursano Coffee Break. And I hope really that we can meet again soon for another video, col uh, video collaboration. For sure, yeah. Thank you, guys. I will try to share her channel link soon once she decided to start, you know, fixing old things. <laughs> para malaman nyo how talented she is and malaman nyo kung saan siya nagpupunta. Okay? Maybe you will find out soon kung Lise from now, she's just 20 years old. Imagine she's only just, she's actually 20 years old already, but she doesn't look like 20. 12. Oh, yes, mukha siya high school. <laughs> Talaga ba? Secrets to staying young. Just uh -oh. kidding. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching again and have a nice day to everyone. Ciao!